M0 FXB USDX version 2. This is a metal case, just took the lid off, which goes like this. And if I turn it over, you'll see that there's four screws on the bottom. I mean, it feels solid. It works well. Look, I've got my 40 meter antenna on. Let's turn the volume up, press and turn. And it's better to use an external speaker, but it does work, you know, I've been tinkering around with it and it works fine. So lid off, it's got a juicy battery in this thing. Now I don't really want to take the battery out, it's got that white glue they use. And I don't really want to take the, the bottom off either. I'll let you see what you can see. Okay. There's the speaker. I think it's quite a big speaker. I feel like they could have, uh, for that size, it could have sounded better. And then a 4,000 milliamp hour battery. I don't think it'll be that hard to take it apart, undo those Allen keys there, undo the bottom ones and pull off the knob and any screws that's holding the knob on, front and back. It's a 14 mil on the back BNC. And then the whole thing will pull apart. But I've done these before where you take them apart and they're never the same when you put them back together. So I've decided just to uh, take the lid off. It's a real nice looking set. And I've had some contacts with it, you know, and I, you know, they, they said five and nine. It was, I was only running about two watts. Um, with the battery, with the internal battery. They said five and nine, so they, they heard my call sign. So for me, for the price that I paid, these are like 65, 70 pound. I think it's a winner, but I'm not saying, I'm not trying to say this is good, this is amazing, but it's it's a solid little transceiver. Uh, and, and then, yeah, maybe someone will come up with some clever firmware to get the best out of it. And you can add an amplifier, a tuner, I've definitely, I have done that, 50 watt amplifier, it's very easy with the micro PA50. So thought I'd show you, bye for now, all the best.